good morning everyone, and welcome back to the reef. And today we're doing only fins about our clownfish. So our clownfish are named Wally and Eva. Wally is the uh, mm, lightning mocha clown. He looks more black and white. You'll see him in a like a, a minute or so. And then the mocha clown, which you see now, is Eva. Uh, they uh, are supposed to be kind of like a chocolatey tint to them. Um, it's it's actually kind of hard to, to see that. But clownfish are the synonymous with the reef, right? Everybody knows them from uh, Finding Nemo. They're widely uh, recognized, right? It's just everybody calls them Nemo fish. Uh, <laughs> so they're from the subfamily Am Amphiprion. Yeah. I'm gonna pronounce. I'm gonna butcher it, but it's Imperion in a. <laughs> um, there's over 30 species uh, of these of clownfish that are recognized. Um, the they all come in a wide variety of colorations. Uh, the most recognizable being the Ocellaris variety, or the. Uh, that's what Nemo is. Like when you watch the movie and you see Finding Nemo and you see Nemo and his dad, that is um, that is literally the Ocellaris. Uh, they, all of these are easily captive bred um, and they are probably the most widely captive bred fish that there is. There are designer ones. A lot of them are very cheap, uh, between 20 and $30 for one fish if you get you know, just a basic one. And then there's designer ones that I've seen that have gone all the way up to $150 a fish. <clears throat> so they're widely known for living in anemones. They are in a symbiotic relationship with them. So each side benefits is what symbiosis means. But how do they not get stung? So there's several theories as to that. Uh, one being that there's an evol evolutionary adaptation uh, for immunity to this their specific host anemone, um, which means that each clownfish hosts a different anemone. They don't kind of host everyone as every fish. Um, with and then there's another theory that's saying that the mucus coating is a sugar-based. Uh, mucus coating rather than a protein based mucus coating. Um, so a protein based mucus coating would kind of would suggest that the anemone is searching for that protein and then when it finds that protein it's going to sting at it. So if they have a sugar based mucus coating uh, that would not trigger those nematocytes, right? They uh, live in harems or singular couples. Uh, one female, which is the larger of the two, also, uh, which is Eva, or our mocha clown, and numerous males. Uh, they all start as males. They are all males, every single one of them. And then the most dominant of the males will actually switch and become the female. Uh, they do not interbreed, so if there's a large group of them, of like five or six males and one female, they do not, all five or six males do not breed with the female. The most dominant male will breed with the female, um, and all the other ones just kind of exist and, you know, gather food and, you know, keep the area tidy that they're living in. And if the female were to die, uh, the most dominant male would then become a female, and everyone would kind of move up in the hierarchy. Diet-wise, they're omnivores. They'll eat whatever they can get their uh, little mouths onto. They are very territorial. Uh, once they have decided that this is where they're going to live, they will defend that location ferociously. Um, a lot of people will put their hands in the tank and go to do something around where they're uh, living and they will get like bit by the clownfish. Now it doesn't really hurt, they don't have like huge teeth, but uh, I've seen some pictures of like just some little like red marks on, on people's skin from such. They, um, 
they're otherwise they get along with every other fish. They don't really cause problems in the tank, um, and they are just full of activity, and they're pretty smart, uh, depending on the fish. <laughs> but uh, every fish tank, every tank has got to have at least one pair of them. So that is. All I've got for the clownfish, Wally and Eva. I hope you enjoy it. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.